Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we're on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time, and I'm writing a short devotional from that chapter and then sharing it with you, and today we're looking at Luke chapter 5. So I spent close to a dozen years on active duty military service in the U.S. Army. It was an all-volunteer army, which means that every single person who was following orders allowed their own lives to be significantly inconvenienced for the sake of the mission. These veterans, my brothers and sisters, were willing to sacrifice their own freedoms to defend the freedoms of those who either could not or would not do the same for them. I honor our veterans and I pray for them. Please join me in praying for our veterans. In Luke chapter 5, verses 12 to 13, a man covered with leprosy begged Jesus, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. Wow, what a wonderful miracle. What was Jesus' next move, you wonder? Ha! Well, in our experience with religion, a revival tent would have been put up right then and there. Because in verse 15, crowds of people started to come to want to hear Jesus and be healed. But that was not Jesus' next move. Verse 16 says, But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. This is so important. Jesus was on a mission and while most people hear this missional language nowadays regarding Jesus and the church, what we don't realize is that mission is military language. Jesus was under orders from his father. So while the people wanted to take control of his plans and schedules, Jesus broke off to listen to his father. Rather than following the crowds, what did Jesus do? He stayed on mission. He didn't let the crowds, he didn't let the excitement of the moment determine the mission. That's so important. You see, being on mission means you have to know your marching orders from God for each and every day. So seize the moment. Before you let other people take over your life in the name of Christian charity or church volunteerism, spend some time with God to listen to your day's marching orders. Who is directing your steps? Your emotions, other people, or God? Seize the moment.